if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. All right, well, good God's morning to you. Good God's morning to you. Look at here. I hope you're having a beautiful and blessed uh, Tuesday morning. Got to remember what day it is. Praise God, because we still think it's Monday, perhaps. <laughs> but good God's morning to you. I pray again that you're having a blessed and a beautiful day this morning, for it is another day, beloved, that the Lord has made. And we will, we shall. That's right. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Beloved, let's get our scripture for this morning. When you come in, let me know you're there. Say hello or something, okay? Good guys morning. Let's look at our scripture this morning. Our scripture coming from Romans chapter 2, verses 21 through 23. Romans chapter 2, verses 21 to through 23. Let's look at it. It says, you... Then who teach others, do you not teach yourselves? You who preach against stealing, do you steal? You who say that people should not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? <laughs> you who adore idols, do you rob temples? You who brag about the law. Do you dishonor God by breaking the law? Good God, oh my. Let me split screen this real quick here. This morning, praise the Lord, have mercy. Look at this here, beloved. Romans 2, 21, 23. This right here just sums it all up. Beloved, it can be no longer do as I say and not as I do. None. If we're going to um, say myself, if I'm going to say something, I must be a doer of it as well. Period. Um, you know, you talk about hypocrites, you know, and that's that's what this really is is really he's really talking about the hypocrites, those that that, that do things. But those that say one thing and do a complete opposite of the other. This is what makes um, actual Christians in the church bad. You know, look, make, make them look bad because you've got people who, who have these titles and who confess this and who, who say they're that and who preaching this and preaching against that. But yet they're dealing with the same issues. They're dealing with the same. They're doing the same thing that they're preaching about. Beloved, you better be careful. You better watch out. Okay? It is no longer do as I say, but not as I do. You know, that stuff we used to do that when we was younger. You know, your mama say, you do as I say, you do as I do. Our kids are watching. Our kids are watching. You know, I had to remind my daughter one day, you know, um, she said something. Oh, I, I looked at her and I jumped at her. Like, what you looking at? And she jumped back and she, she, she said, and I said, um, don't you do that no more. And she said, well, mama, you did it to me. I said, but you got to understand, I'm your mama. I'm looking at you like, what are you looking at? Like, what's your problem? But you, no, mm -mm, that's a sign of disrespect to me. Okay, so don't do that. Okay? And maybe looking at it now, it may be a sign of disrespect to her, but it's not. First God. But my point is, beloved, he is telling us here that you doing this, but yet you're saying you're saying this, but yet you're doing something else. What's going on? Let's cut this out. Let's stop the madness. Paul tells us that we are living epistles, meaning we are the living example of of the word of God. We are the living example of what it is to carry out and to do, you know, uh, what the word of God says. That means if the word of God says this, then guess what? I've got to do this. I can't do, not do this because of 
what the word don't say or, you know, it only applies to certain people. No, it applies to everybody. This is why, first of all, we've got to get in the word of God. We've got to properly understand the word, properly exegete the word, properly dig into it and rightfully divide the word of God so that we can understand it. Beloved, I'm coming, coming, I'm coming, I'm coming with some information in uh, July. And you don't want to miss this information because we're going to see what the Bible says, really says about some things. Because we've got people who preach one thing. And they do another thing. We got people who teach one thing, teach the laws and rules and regulations, but yet they, they directly disobey the laws and regulations. Uh, regulation. You got people who talk and preach against adultery. You look at the scripture. Look, 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 at, look at the scripture right there. <laughs> you got people who do these things, but yet they, 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 they get up in the pulpit and they talk directly against it. They talk directly against it now, but yet they're the main ones that are in the pulpits who are doing the things. The very same thing that they are preaching again. Beloved, we have got to stop it. I think one thing that my congregation can really say and the people that know me can really say, and I hope that you can really say about me, is that if, if, if you know who I am. In other words, there is no hidden agenda here. There is no there is no questions about me. You know where I stand. You know who I am. And if you do have a question about it, ask me. Don't go ask nobody else. Come straight to me. Come straight and hear it from the horse's mouth because I'll tell you. And this is the thing that, that bothers me. And, and it's not like I'm worried about them, but... This is what bothers me for me. At any moment, God can strike. Listen to me carefully. At any moment, God can get sick and tired of people playing games. Sick and tired of people playing church. And he can strike. He can crack the sky. He can do whatever he wants to do because he's God. And then what will they say? Then what will we do? I dare not play with God. I dare not do something that I believe in my heart, in my mind, and from what I've searched and what I've researched and dug into the word of God against God because I fear his wrath. I fear that whatever I tell you on, on here on, 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 on every morning, my congregation on Sundays, my congregation on Wednesdays, I fear that I have to make sure I tell you the truth. Because if I don't, I am accountable for what I tell you. This is my fear. This is this is what this is what I I, I pray about. This is what I, I I seek God about constantly and daily. Lord, you know, make sure that I just want to make sure that I'm in right standing with you. That I'm that I'm telling the people of God right. Lord, give me. Make sure you confirm to me that this is what it is and this is what it what it needs to be and this is how you want me to say it and what you want me to do. And Lord, let my life be an example of what it is that Your Word says. Because I am accountable for what I tell you. I'm accountable for the life I live in front of my members, <laughs> in front of those who see me, and those that don't. Because the one that does it, y'all don't see me every day, but God does. And so, why would I try to be one thing in front of y'all when y'all don't have no heaven or hell to put me in? Hello. When y'all have not given me none of what I have. I'm just saying. And, 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 and God, who sees everything, who's given me life, health, and strength, who has provided and made ways out of no way, who have brought me out of darkness into the marvelous, marvelous light, why would I be wishy-washy with him who knows and sees all. Beloved, we've got to live in spirit and truth. Forget what man says. Forget what man thinks. Forget what man's trying to judge you with. If you ain't living the life in front of God, why does it matter what life you live in front of man? 
Let's go back to Romans 2, 21 and 23. Make sure that we are preaching. We're teaching what we're preaching. We're living what we're speaking. Be careful how you point fingers because you still got a couple of them pointing back at you. Sweep around your own front door. Good God almighty. My computer shut off. I don't know what's going on. Um, I wish I had that song to play. Sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. That's what this is saying. You, you sweep around your door before you go try to tell somebody else what to and what not to do. Good God Almighty. Praise God in the morning. All right, beloved, let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for your word today. We thank you for this opportunity to commune and fellowship with you. And God, we ask you just to bless us and keep us, oh God, in your word and your will and your way. Oh God, Lord, if anything that we're doing that is not pleasing in your sight, God, I pray now that you show us that you change us, oh God. Change us, oh God. We need, we want to be more like you. God, we don't want to be like the hypocrites and the Sadducees and the Pharisees and all them people who said one thing and did another, who live one life in front of man, and God, they try to do one thing else in front of you. But God, we know that you see all things. Nothing catches you by surprise. You know who we are before we even know who we are. You know who we was when we came out the womb. So God, nothing about us surprises you. But God, I pray that we are real. We are authentic. And God, that we are what you would have us to be. We give you praise, glory, and honor. And Lord, shut the fool down and let the real woman and man of God rise up. People won't understand it. People won't know, but God, we know that you know. If you have your hand upon us, God, there's nothing man can do. You said if you be for us, there is no, no there is more than the world against us. God, we thank you for you being the almighty, all-seeing, all-knowing, and all-loving God. We praise you and we give you glory and honor. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, amen and amen. All right, beloved. Good guys, morning to you. Y'all say good morning to First Lady. She is back. Yes, sir. Good guys, morning. Good guys, morning, Minister Huge. Good guys, morning, Michelle Satcher. Good morning, Mika. Good morning, Deacon Soto. Good morning, Beatrice Easley. Good morning, Naomi Gurley. Good morning, good morning, Sister Schiller. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. I think I've gotten everybody. Good morning to you. God bless you. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed Tuesday. And y'all continue to pray, continue to, to seek the Lord while he may be found. God has got something in store for us. But we've got to be in position to receive it. Stop trying to be fake and phony. Stop trying to act like them. Stop trying to be like them. And just be who God has made you to be. God already knows. So just be that. All right? God bless you this morning. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day. And we'll see y'all tomorrow, the same time, the same place, for another good God's morning moment. Look, check this out. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God.